Hi. I moved. I know my area right now looks dark. The audio is probably different. We do officially have a cat tower in the background, which is great. There's still renovations that need to be done. You can see like a line on the wall behind me. That was from old wallpaper that was there that we had to rip off. And then we have to repaint the room eventually. There's still a lot to do. But considering I'm going to be here for a really long time now, I'm going to deck this room out. It's going to be epic. For now, though, it's empty. Either way, we're going to take it easy because today is a Reddit day. And there's actually kind of bad news on the subreddit. Kairos is leaving the Brawl Stars subreddit because because people were being toxic. I guess that's what it boils down to. He made his honest review on Brawl Stars and I thought it was a great video, but some toxic people were going too far. It's not good for his mental health and he's leaving the subreddit. Like I don't blame him because most of the time the reddits are just really negative. I mostly try to avoid talking about the negative stuff or I just like slip one thing in a video and then I mostly talk about memes or whatever. But uh, yeah, community kind of took an L this time. Got another poster talking about exactly that. Yeah, I don't want to talk about this for too long. Hey, we got something positive. New battle card idea. Why does everyone keep saying Frost Queen gives so much value? Hot take, but it's just a regular epic skin. Negative post. I get it. They all have the same stuff. This one just looks cooler. It has a cooler theme. This one's kind of just superhero-ish, but this one's literally changing her from a fire mage to an ice mage, and it's just cool. I mean, both of them are cool, but in my opinion, this one's cooler. Man, throwers have such interesting gameplay. The gameplay, just throwing at each other. Quality. The truth behind toxic players. I'm sure we've all come across it more than once. Yep, somebody spinning with down thumb. And when it happens to you, it can feel discouraging. However, truthfully, it isn't something to be upset about. Because in reality, these are just random people who want to boost their ego by putting down others. That is usually how it goes. So even though it can be really annoying to put up with at times, you're better than them, remember that. Okay, that, I mean, that's kind of a positive post, right? <laughs> In reality, most people who use down thumb, they're probably like eight-year-old kids who just got yelled at by their mom and they take their anger out by spinning on somebody that they killed in a video game. That's how it goes for a lot of games. Rough pin concept. The pin shakes, biting a trophy. The trophy breaks into pieces. The pin turns towards the camera. The pin laughs hysterically, pointing at the viewer. That's toxic. We don't need more toxic ones. We've already got the down thumb. We're getting the clowns soon which is gonna break the game i already talked about that that video got demonetized by the way because of the beginning and then eventually we're like 99 percent chance gonna get a skull pin it's only gonna get worse now let's look at top of this week i solved the trolley problem oh i get it now you're gonna kill all six of them great great yeah what the brawl stars team should do in the future to keep this game fun in my opinion almost 2,000 upvotes that's a lot for a post that's just text like this we've been getting a bunch of brawlers recently which brings the total number to 72 now which it used to be like under 20. however i don't think it's a good thing because they seem like they're prioritizing quantity over quality with certain brawlers true and i think that's a big reason why wonder brad ended up quitting the game he just got bored with like how the brawlers were being added like edgar being el primo but smaller and stuff like that now some recent brawlers have been pretty cool and original like uh, cordelius yeah i guess i mean he's still annoying and then yeah chuck is really cool some others however jackie one projectile and explosion multiple projectiles and explosion el primo without the jump not really i don't think sam is that similar to anybody else just because he punches like we also got rosa who punches but Sam is like entirely reliant on his super for the whole game. That is really different. They're saying that they should space out brawler releases. Frank was talking about removing the chromatic rarity, and I think that would solve a lot of the problems. True, because they have to release one brawler with every single season, and I think that is like one of many problems with the chromatic rarity. I knew that chromatic was going to be a problem from the very beginning, and it took a while, but they're finally bringing it up, asking if they should just delete it altogether, and I hope they do, because I seriously think it's hindering the progression of the game entirely. Entirely, but I feel like nobody else has been talking about that. Just me. So we'll see what they do about that. Hypercharge could be a solution to produce more game content while not releasing new brawlers. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea. I do think that they need to slow down on brawler releases a little bit. And whenever they release a new brawler, they should make it like really special because yeah, this post is right. We're getting a lot of revamped brawlers as new brawlers. Because of that, it's been years since we've gotten a huge change. Like Gears wasn't that big because they weren't able to put that much time into it because they're still focusing on other stuff. And now Hypercharge is in the game, which is good, but I feel like it could have been better if they had more time to actually work on it. And that's something that Kairos talked about as well. I want a brawler who can switch between two weapons or more. I want a brawler who can transform into another brawler with its super. Also, I'm kind of tired of new trios. 
I mean, I don't think that's that big of a problem. But yeah, overall, pretty good post. 16 hypercharge concepts. Hyper Bruce is 20% faster and uses rupture every two seconds. I was thinking, yeah, Bruce's hypercharge is probably going to speed him up, which is going to be so terrifying. Worldwide, I think this is Buster's. Montage shields all directions. Yes, sir, dude, that would be so cool. Rico's is a uh, trick shot range and speed increased by 33%. This is another example of super, but larger, and we don't need that for brawlers. I think that there should be something more special. Stu's is Nitro Boost gains knockback. I remember talking about this one earlier because Stu, if you didn't know, he used to actually knock people back with his super. So you could get your super and just keep bumping into people. They could legitimately just bring back old broken mechanics that they had to nerf for hypercharge. Supply drop leaves a hyper power up that adds supercharge trait. Okay. I wish it would say what brawler it's for. During strong stuff, all bushes get hyper dealing 1000 damage per second to enemies. I don't know who that's for. For Brock, his super travels forward as a storm cloud and it drops more rockets. That would be so cool. Dynamite super becomes larger. Ooh. I really hope they don't continue making supers just larger. That's so boring. BB's bubble gets faster and stronger every time it bounces. Now that's a pretty good one because the bubble just go like bo -do -do. Edgar next three vaults cost no supercharge. I'm gonna assume that they're gonna make Edgar's super stun the enemy when you land on them. Collecting knuckle busters makes Sam next attack discharge a stunning spark. I feel like so far they're only focusing on supers being changed, but for some brawlers you could actually change their main attack. Jesse's scrappy gets shielding. Ooh. Penny's mortar shoots her out as the next attack? I don't know about that one. What if you don't want that? Amber's super stays lit. Party tricks makes Surge big for five seconds, making his attacks bigger and allows him to step over walls. How much larger? I like this one for Leon. Attacking doesn't cancel invisibility. You could either do something like that, or they could do it where they revert how he works back to when he was originally released, and if you get close to somebody, they still don't know that you're invisible. Just unlocked Amber. What did they do? to progression uh humor and memes all right it's a joke i was worried for a second that there was a crazy bug but i don't think it's real common star drops instead of rare that would just make it so much more saddening though like with the gray background so we all agree these nerfed progression i can't really tell so that's up to everybody else to figure out this post got two awards this event is so cool please release my family thank you but no giving my opinion on the update and rating parts of it all right i'll give my opinions as well pearl and chuck i haven't even played her yet so i can't can't give my opinion but yeah chuck does seem really cool the balance changes they're awesome yeah crow nerf sad squeak nerf good i'm also glad they finally gave manny piper and nani some attention the gadget gear this gear is weird it works wonders on brawlers like busta crow squeak etc but it's useless on brawlers like Bo. that's because Bo just has bad gadgets they're not that good i think it fits the game 9 out of 10 yeah i'm gonna be completely honest this might be a weird opinion but the the new gear is one of my favorite additions in this entire update and i hope with every update as long as they have fresh ideas they just keep adding new gears the upgrade change 1.6 out of 10 i still think that's kind of weird it's good in some ways but bad in a lot of other ways hypercharge 7 out of 10 i kind of agree with that i just feel like a hypercharged super instead of the hypercharge button would be better maybe that's a dumb idea maybe they tried it and it didn't work but this is a new game mechanic which is something i've been hoping for for a really long time, so I'm happy with it. Even if it could have been different. The skin's 8.2 out of 10. The UI change is good, I agree. The mode removal, 3 out of 10. I was really sad about this. Especially because Hot Zone was one of them. I thought that was a popular mode. I don't really care about Heist that much, but I am glad to see Siege back in the game. Gears should not be the same as Star Powers. So, for example, Amber's Mythic Gear currently makes people slow down when they're on her Oil, which is basically a new ability. And instead of that, they should just make the range further so then you get a little bit more out of it. And instead of Sandy Sandstorm making enemies do less damage, Sandy Super could be one second longer. I see what they're going for here. Making changes like that would make Gears feel less like baby versions of star powers this is the most miserable grind i've ever had to do in this game i just did it with bots i couldn't even be bothered <laughs> if you have a brawler that's like under 100 trophies and you queue into this as that brawler you will go against bots it's really op they might have removed that feature and if they did then this is false info no freaking way i finally did it gold three frank with zero trophies what mode can you do that in leave a comment because i have no idea is it just me or is there a coin shortage going on with hypercharges being in the game 
probably. Yeah, I thought this was kind of funny. They said that they reduced how many token doublers we're gonna get from star drops because everybody was complaining. Like, we're getting too many token doublers drops. Like, it's happening too frequently. Every star drop I open, I just get token doublers. So Supercell was like, okay, guys, we'll reduce the amount of token doublers. And they did. But just the number that you get when you get the drop instead of reducing how many times it drops. So it just nerfed progression. I thought that was really funny. Time to put this new gear to use. Yeah, baby. Got the gear, but no gadget. Perfect use for it. They should not let you buy this unless you already have a gadget. That doesn't make any sense. But yeah, that's going to do it for the first video in my new place. If you enjoyed, slap like. And yeah, bye.